Welcome back friends. We have already talked about the very basic overview about how viruses cause pathogenesis inside the host cell. Now in this video we will be talking about each of these components or each of these different steps carefully. Now remember I have talked about four different steps. So this is the first step virulence or virus particle entry or attachment. So not let us put it here. So first step is this one attach, attachment to the host cell. Second part is the internalization. Third part is up unpacking of the virus particle. <clears throat> and the fourth part is the protein synthesis and ultimate protein expression. Right? So these are the four uh, important steps for the pathogenesis. Now in this video we'll be talking about attachment of the virus to the host cell. Now the attachment is mediated by cell receptors. Right? So there are cell receptors present on the surface of the host cell which are targeted by the viruses, right? Now the receptors can be made up with protein. So let me talk about this. So we are talking about attachment to the host cell. Attachment. And this attachment can, can be usually the attachment is made uh, <coughs> the attachment is made via a non-covalent interaction. So it's a kind of, so let me write non-covalent non-covalent interaction. Okay and along with that it can also be called as adsorption remember adsorption okay or not actually adsorption or addition anyways adsorption we can call it okay now in this case uh, if we are having a host cell so let me draw the host cell for you if this is the host cell surface and this host host cell is ha having or holding receptors onto their surface let's say these are the receptors and we are having our virus particles this was for example say virus particles it is having some spikes coming out some outer membrane uh, structure protein coat coming out with the help of this viral protein coat and the out, uh, outer uh, outside expressed in, uh, intracellular uh, membrane or uh, membrane spanning protein molecule uh, provided by the host cell they can interact and then after that they can attach to this cell. So this is the first part. Only attachment is required. After this attachment process is done, we are moving to the second part, which is the internalization. Now, the in internalization phase, what we are having in internalization phase, this can be made by two different ways. So let me talk about each of them. Two different pros possibilities are there. One is via receptor mediated endocytosis or RME. And second part is via the envelope or membrane fusion. Membrane via membrane fusion. Right? So let us talk about both of these things. Now let's say here in this case a host cell. So let's say here in this case, this is the host cell surface again host cell surface and it is having the expression of the protein receptors for example this is the receptor so this is another receptor and here comes the viral particle now if the viral particle is naked it is having only protein molecules coming out like that okay like that okay and it will be attached to the external surface proteins so let's say this is uh, let's say this is a protein so this is the surface surface proteins okay and this is the virus particle so they will attach directly after the attachment after the attachment a membrane vesicle will start to form so if i draw it it will look something like this it will look something like this a membrane vesicle will start to form sooner and after the formation of this kind of membrane vesicle so if I draw it here, you can find this is the receptor and our virus is now entered inside. So it is our virus particle like that. After certain time, it will be fully engulfed inside. So we can, what we can see is that surface will be like that. And here we are having a vesicle. Inside this vesicle, we will be having our receptor and this viral particle bind with this receptor okay so this will be internalized by this kind of process called receptor mediated endocytosis because what we can see this is a simple endocytosis process by forming endocytic vesicles so this is called this is called endosome endosome or 
इंडोसिडिक और इंडोसिडिक वेसिकल ओके एंड देन दे कैन बी इंटरनलाइज लाइक दैट ओके एंड अनदर प्रोसेस इज ऑल्सो देयर ड्यूरिंग दिस इंटरनलाइजेशन एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड मेम्ब्रेन फ्यूशन बट दिस इज रेयर टू ऑनली दोस काइंड ऑफ वायरसेस विच आर हैविंग इन विलअप कवरिंग देयर प्रोटीन कोट राइट and this is very few viruses can have this so let's say the virus now we are talking about they are having a kind of envelope so let us draw an envelope so let me take a new color let's say this one so let's say this is the virus now it is enveloped in this case now for the enveloped virus again they need to interact with the host cell via specific protein coming out from the envelope so if this is a cell surface and this is the envelope there are certain proteins let's say let me draw with this red color thing they are interacting with the receptor of the cell surface of host cell after this interaction this membrane of this enveloped virus is literally fused with this membrane so so if i draw it again so let me draw it again a kind of so if this is the virus this is the virus and let's say here it is here it is the membrane so the virus is having and say this is kind of a membrane of envelope of the virus so this is the envelope of the virus now then this virus will be fused with the host cell surface so let's say this is the host surface it is a kind of fused with the with certain kinds of protein expressions uh, out from outside so let's say this is the protein expression with the help of they are fusing after this fusing after this attachment they start to fuse because the membrane or the envelope that are present in virus is having the same kind of constituents that is making the host membrane right so they can easily fuse with the host membrane so they are literally fusing with the host membrane and after the fusion of this membrane with the host membrane after the fusion with the host membrane so let me draw this like that there are a kind of fusion like this kind of fusion now during this kind of fusion let me draw it like that okay and due to this kind of fusion what it will leave it will leave our particle like that this is the virus particle so let me write this is the virus this is the virus now after another round so let me draw another image of that another image means like that like that sorry and we will be having this attached with this and then rest of it and then what we get or virus inside right so that's how we can see that only the fusion so what we can observe from here is only fusion of membrane fusion of membrane right so two membrane membrane present or membrane uh, covering the viral particle will fuse with the membrane of the host cell allowing the virus particle to enter inside the host cell Right, so these are the two mechanisms of how virus particle can make entry inside the host cell. So we have covered the second part. Now let's talk about the third part, which is the unpacking of the virus particle. Now unpacking is very very easy because unpacking means each of these virus particles, as we are talking about in this case, it is consisting of two important things. One is these genetic materials. So if I draw the genetic materials. in this red color every viral particle is having its genetic material inside now whenever it is getting engulfed inside the host cell the second part is the dissociation of this genetic material from the protein coat so here we are having two important sections this outer membrane is a protein envelope so it's a protein envelope and the inner inner thing here is the genetic the genetic uh what you can say genetic component right genetic component okay so genetic component and the protein envelope both the things are there right now the unpacking means release of this protein coat from outside right 
so release of this protein code so after that what we will be seeing is that all the components will be coming out so these are these yellow colored components are the protein code components will be dissociating it will lead to the release of the genetic component outside so we get the genetic component outside and protein envelope molecules outside so this part of the section is termed as unpacking unpacking of virus of virus particles inside the host cell and unpacking only uh, is occurring inside the host cell not the outside region okay because we require this dna for the future steps inside the host because where when we are talking about the unpacking it is occurring in the cytoplasm of the host so let me talk about the unpacking of the virus it occurs in the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm of host that's very very important okay because we are, we are right now in the cytoplasm of the host after this unpacking of the virus particles the four and the major steps uh, is uh, about to occur and that is the future steps that is the involvement of the viral genetic material to produce uh, proteins viral proteins so whatever genetic material it is whether it is a dna or it is an rna whatever finally it what it will make it will it will provide proteins now these are called viral proteins right this viral proteins now will trigger different cellular effects cellular effects depending upon the degree of effects we can call it sometimes cytopathic effects so let me write sometimes we call them cytopathic cytopathic effect sometimes we call them cytosidal effect if, if if this effect is killing the cell we call them cytosidal it can be cytopathic in certain ways so ultimately it will li li provide some signal from which we can get that yes <coughs> there is a potent viral infection so viral infection is finally be achieved <coughs> excuse me so that's how the different steps of viral infection come to play right so that's how the viral pathogenesis occurs and up in the future video we'll be talking about how these uh, different genetic materials are providing us the viral proteins how they are uh, replicated then then transcribed and finally they are translated to the protein products which will finally provide a cytopathic or cytosidal effects to provide us the viral infection right so we'll be learning them in the later slide and i hope that's helpful thank you